What is good, guys? Welcome to an episode of the Creative Show. Show. My name is Super Nico, and I am your host for today. And joining us today at the Creative Show, we have Svenja. How are you, Svenja? Hi, everyone. You good? I'm good. Awesome. Okay. Thank you for coming along. How are you? I'm <laughs> in your fancy half, dress. Yeah, I know. I feel ridiculous. <laughs> this was Kia's idea. What? Don't you feel like Superman? I feel like. Without saying any swear words, like super idiot, because <laughs> I can't see shit. I'm digging the boots, by the way. What does that mean? Oh, I'm digging means <laughs> I like them. <laughs> I like the boots. They're really cool. Thank you. Are they real leather? Yes, they are. Did you buy them before you were vegan? I did, but I don't know if I wouldn't buy any real leather anymore. Yeah, I get you. I've got a leather coat, and I still wear it. It depends, you know. Yeah. Cool. And then on this side, we have Joshua Andre. Ooh, Joshua Andre. He's got the second name in there. We, we Don't you have a second name, bro? Uh, my first name is Super. The second name is oh, Nico. Super Nico. <laughs> cool. I've never seen this guy before. No, I know. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I had two choices in life. Either I could, I wanted to be either a superhero or if you put it that way, you could work in a barber shop. I actually grew up in a hairdressing salon with my grandmother. I don't so know which barber I've had that. <laughs> I've worn a mask. <laughs> a mask. <laughs> I'd be a bit scared. But you, you, you did, actually. M what? Hairdressing salon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my grandmother was a hairdresser. Mm -hmm. So, like, and we lived next door. My parents and I, we lived next door to a grand and granddad. Ah, yeah, of course. You told I that showed story you the. Where you I've, cut got, your I've got some, I've got some battle scars. Uh. We'll talk about that in a second. And to my right, we have the one, the only, Mr. Hassan. How are you, Hassan? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Trimmed your beard. I could have done it for you, man. You could have <laughs> just told me. I shot on it a little. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Are you feeling better? Because you didn't join us at the go karting. Yeah, I'm feeling much better now. Yeah. What happened? Just you were just you just didn't want to lose. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want the long drive to Newcastle. Ah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It actually was shorter for me to get from Bradford to Newcastle than come to Lincoln. Mm. But it was just uh, I think it was tiredness from working and then just the whole like cold flu. Did, did you have COVID? I didn't have COVID. No, did get sure? tested, but it came negative. <laughs> oh, did you do the actual test? Yeah. Really? How did yeah. they do the test? Uh, they put like a kind of a earbud piece kind of thing. Where? Uh, up Where your nose. It? Okay. And then they put it back in your throat Ooh. Uh, yeah. to find out Jeez. it's uh, COVID. I've, this is the Should second time I had his it. face. <laughs> so you just really need to start doing yoga. You do. <laughs> it's actually interesting. Like you can, you can actually see in the team who like the ones who get sick again mm. and again. They're not doing yoga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. That sounds like being called I've out. I've never <laughs> seen. Yeah. I've never seen someone getting sick. Yeah. Of those who doing yoga regularly. Yeah, yeah. Like well, ever since. I remember I've been when there. when I joined Wealth Yogi, like it's week crazy. one of Wealth Yogi. I'm pretty sure I got COVID. Mm. Like I was. And you didn't tell us. <laughs> 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 well, I realized. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I realized after I was just like. It's all coming out now. I just yeah. had. I just had. I had a pretty like heavy cold. But because I was doing yoga, my body was just like, was just dealing with it. And mm. I was able to get on with, with everything because the yoga just cleans you up. Mm. This is really awkward. Um, I wanted to ask you something. Yeah. But I can't remember. <laughs> um, I used to get sick a lot as well before I yeah. came here. Mm. With the yoga, everything changed. Yeah. Not, I, I don't think I've ever been sick again. Yeah. It's good because like, um, mm. I used to get ill like last year, towards the end of last year. Uh, actually, at the start last year, I got really ill. Like, I used to get really, really ill. Like, every other week, I used to have a flu and c cold and stuff. And then you started drinking Kangen water. <laughs> 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 then it all changed. Yeah. <laughs> then uh, I started the gym. I like, just generally started yeah. the gym. I used to go, like, uh, uh, every That's day, 7 in the morning, day. used to go gym. Wow. A bit of running, some weights. And since that day, I've not, like, that illness has gone. Like, just that regular cold I used to get, gone. Mm. Body feel good. Because of COVID, obviously, the lockdown here, obviously, I stopped gym. Um, but yeah, I think yoga is probably the next step to do to mm. make you feel better. Yeah. Is that a commitment? Soon, <laughs> soon, soon. soon. No, <laughs> I need to commit to everyone at home. Let yeah, me yeah, get yeah, ahead. That's not how it works <laughs> now. Come on, now or never. I think let me get ahead with all the shows, everything. Oh, <laughs> think oh what, there's always an excuse for <laughs> let me do this. I want to say no, bullshit. but I will, I will, I will do soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah. You'll be surprised when I start. <laughs> Kia's loving it. Kia's having a good time. Didn't. Kier was saying that you felt, oh yeah, because we had this chat yesterday. He did, he did two two sessions, and he was saying like, I don't know if it's in my head, but like I woke up the following day and I just felt so blissful. Mm -hmm. And Sweet. like, yeah, yeah, it's insane. Like two sessions, 
And well, even if it is just in your head, surely that's a good thing. Because yeah, we live in is, our heads. Yeah, so. yeah, that is a good <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and it was like quite a heavy, he had quite a heavy, uh, heavy entrance <laughs> yeah. to this. Like With Rebecca, huh? <laughs> we were all doing headstands <laughs> and handstands. And <laughs> yeah, man. It's good, though. It's good. You're doing great. Yeah, so if any of you are relying on doctors and stuff, well, first get yourself a mask and a cape. That helps. But yeah, sports, just keep the sports up. Or and speak to Super Michael. Super speak Michael, to Super Michael. Out. Yeah, yeah, I'll sort yoga you out. Yoga, there. We have yoga challenge going on. So. <coughs> yeah, we got yoga. Wait, hang on. Mm. Because because I did sports before, but sports didn't. By the didn't time they see this, from getting sick. By the time they see this, yoga challenge will have finished. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do this live. Sorry, this <laughs> is live. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I was the same. I used to do a lot of sports and gym and all. Still got sick. But yoga's different. Mm. Yeah, what do you reckon it is? Do you reckon it's just because you're like using mind, body, and and just I guess it's the whole balance of like the meditation, and everything. Or yeah, it's it's holistic. So mm. you got to find like why some people do sports. Some people do sports because they're addicted. Some people do sports for vanity. Mm. So there's still like some negative vibrations through thought attached to it. Mm. It's a dependency. Whereas yoga, it. Well, actually, I wrote this in my article. Um, it goes to where all your, I guess, your trauma, where energy is stuck, if it's in your muscles, your joints, your tendons, your mind, your chakras, and it just releases that. Mm -hmm. And it boosts. And also because the way we practice it. Yeah. There's I was going to say, especially our practices, yeah, because you, you go out there and there's a lot of yoga ways. It's like yeah. they don't know the reasons why they're doing certain asanas mm -hmm. and they're not implementing it for that. So... Mm. Asanas yeah. means positions or seat, actually. Thank you, bro. Yeah, just thought I'd let them know if they don't know. We got like a, a dictionary over here. I'm, I'm <laughs> Super the, Nike I'm does the moving encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we've got we get the philosophy behind it. We get the science, the the tradition behind mm. it. So there's that there's that multi level understanding, I mm. guess, and meaning to it. And I think it has also to do with the way we are practicing yoga here, just the intensity, because, I mean, I did sports before, but I never had that much strength. So, mm. yeah, and I think it's just, it really comes also to the And to I think the, the way we, d the way we do it is like, it's not just a do this position, breathe in, breathe out, do this. It's everything we do is to strengthen the mind. And like you said, we live in our heads and strong mind, strong body. So we have that, I guess, our software, our, our computer system becomes stronger. So we're not going to get, you know, we're less inclined to, to mm. get ill, mm -hmm. more resilient. Mm. Yeah. We're saying all this for Hassan to, to be thinking <laughs> like, yeah. I need to start. <laughs> and also we drink Kangen water. Mm, yeah, I guess it's everything, isn't it? The, mm. the water, the yoga, yeah. I guess the food as well. So That's yeah, it. everything everything plays a big part. Well, like... um. Sadhguru says, I mean, there's different levels of body, emotional body, energy body, etc. This is our earth body. It's made of what we eat, what we consume. And we were saying this yesterday at your house, how like the importance of because you've you guys have started buying strictly organic, like high quality organic food. And like this body is made of literally what you eat. The saying you are what you eat isn't just a saying to encourage you to be more mindful. It's actually scientifically fundamental truth and so i found it fascinating as well i kind of it just never hit me the same way when when grandmaster um <coughs> said it in, in in bali he mentioned it actually like um that that yeah what we the oxygen water and food is really what makes our hardware mm -hmm. and if we want to like increase our capacity and everything we just need to care cleanse. for the quality for um, sure. of these three intakes yeah, yeah, um, that sure. will just yeah actually like boost that everything thanks to Kaina I made this incredible soup yesterday I'm going to share the recipe oh, and I feel cool. so good this morning man it was so good. It's like one of these alkalinity. It's got kale, broccoli, turmeric, coriander, ginger, mm. all that stuff. Good. Man, it was good. Mm. You try the kangen. You should post it there. I will. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll paste the recipe. I'll put the recipe. I'll give it to Kier. Uh, he's shaking his head. <laughs> I'll give it to Hassan. <laughs> he's nodding. Thank you, bro. <laughs> um, he's nodding because he's on camera. <laughs> yeah, that's it. 
Um, yeah, it's it's super powerful, man. It's so good. <coughs> I noticed I actually eat less since, since since organic food. Yeah, but since that like mm, higher quality organic food, mm. that's an interesting I I'm thing. I'm hungry because a lot of satiates me. Very yeah, yeah, for sure. A lot of people, the reason they don't they object to spending money on organic food is because they think, oh, it's why would I spend more money? It's not worth it. It's only for fancy people or whatever but actually if you think about it you're spending more money on quality nutrients so with a smaller amount of food you're getting more energy you're getting more nutrients to your body so actually it's this idea of not buying organic food is is false economy in a way and economy actually means management of resources if you break the two words up economy um yeah that's why people eat so much as well like like so I know I experience it as that it's because our bodies when they're craving the nutrients our minds think it's just more food mm. but then if you get like nutrient dense food mm. then mm -hmm. in in fact you're not actually craving more food your your body's satisfied with the nutrients yeah so then it doesn't want more food so it's, it's interesting stuff fascinating mm. Mm. you tried Kangen for the first time um yeah you tried it what was your like experience yeah, it, was on it? it was that weekend of the event uh the abundance squad event mm. yeah. uh, i had vegan food <laughs> for three days i had uh, kangen water and i felt really good mm. yeah literally the whole weekend after my body felt good uh, physically mentally slept well as well yeah uh and then fuck this and obviously <laughs> <laughs> going home and um obviously couldn't have the kangen water oh and stuff but yeah. it felt really good mm -hmm. body felt cleansed yeah I noticed that because I went w when I used to be mentored by a master and the team. Mm. Like we used to come here for like intense three day events, intense five day events that were like twenty hour days, twenty two hour days, mm. and then it's crazy mm. how like you get yeah, like a couple water. hours sleep and you feel like you've had so much yeah. more sleep. So that that was interesting. I thought maybe it was a lot of a lot of things play in effect, isn't it? It's the energy, yeah, the of energy, the, space. the people, the mm. space. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's where you put in your body. Obviously, uh, it's what comes out of your body. <coughs> mm. So wherever you put in, that's where you're gonna get. And if you're going to put bad food in, then it's not going to work. Either. Do you know that demo we did for the Kangen event mm. where like you show how acid um, like sodas are? Mm -hmm. Last night That's I had a crazy. nightmare. <laughs> that <laughs> I was like, nightmare, bro. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no one was naked, don't worry. <laughs> I had a nightmare, well, nightmare, a bad dream that I was forced to drink a shitload of Coca-Cola. Yeah, really? And I was like, no, all this acid <laughs> into my body, I can just feel it. It's horrible. No, I'm going to have to drink two liters of Kangen water. <laughs> Did you go back into the dream after That's to fix so it? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Kangen water, Kangen yeah. water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's insane. Mm. Like, this stuff changes your life. It changes everything. Mm. It's important because uh, you see all those posts on Instagram and it where it's like, it's not just what you put in your body, like food wise, drink wise, but obviously the stuff that you put in your mind. The what, like yeah, what you watch, visual consumption. Everything like, and it even goes as deep as like what you smell, what you touch, everything like so many, it's, yeah, it's all inputs, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, everything is energy. Even your surroundings like, um, like having energetic cluster, living in mess. Like this is something, as you know, like this is something I'm in right now. And it has a massive impact, like, you know, your environment is, is super, super, like, important for cleanliness and space of mind as well. Mm. Just for streamlined, a streamlined life. Well, I think you have, al it's al uh, you have also, you need to add the other perspective to it where you can actually say, actually, you can also build yourself in a way where all of that doesn't affect you anymore. For real. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. So, mm, mm, mm. Yeah. No, that was super interesting. We had an event, the one Superpower Life, actually. You know, M Marie Diamond, you guys went. Yep. And she was talking about, like, feng shui mm. and how actually, like, mess. Obviously, you get to that point where it doesn't affect you. Mm -hmm. But for the majority of people, it will. Mm -hmm. And it, it promotes, like, is it beta brain waves? Mm. Whereas, like, if you have, like, a like calm environment, mm. like, less things, like, what is it, minimalist type of thing, mm. then it promotes alpha brain waves. So you're more creative, mm. you flow more and stuff like that. Yeah. So I found that pretty interesting, something to bear in mind when we're doing stuff. Yeah. I just think if you if you would ignore like the ho the other part, then you would kind of like get dependent on, like you would get super sensitive. So I mm. think you need to work on both Finding sides. Finding the balance, yeah, for sure. <coughs> for sure. It's, it's interesting what you say because there is, yeah, if you can get to a point where you're, how to say, you're... I, I kind of see it like that where, where, where obviously like whenever you can you would care you would care for quality whatever yeah. well 
in environment and yeah. food and, and, and all these things um, yeah. because it will just you will you will need less energy to keep your energy high yeah. and you can cultivate for but real but then on the, on, on the other side um, if you can't control the environment you need to build need that to strength where you're not dependent on anything yeah. actually on any outer yeah. um, any yeah. circumstance outside of you yeah. um, that's it's very interesting point because mm, it's that balance that you have to strike because ideally yes and um, if you can get to a point where your stability mental emotional physical is not dependent on outer but where is the limit where you say okay this is my standard and I'm not willing to from this point forward I'm not willing to uh, continue living in a chaotic place does that make sense to make a step to get out of that environment it's a question I'm asking <laughs> <laughs> by the way question mark well, it's certainly <laughs> I think it's very important to have your your bottom lines for for everyday life but at the same but at the same time yeah just just again you you don't want to you don't want to make your inner well-being dependent mm. on any outer circumstances. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I think in, in, in the journey, we'll come to a point also where I, I guess that's also why the reason why there is there. Um, do you remember a uh, master telling us about one, one of his masters uh, in India um, whose place he visited and it was like completely chaotic. There was like cows in the kitchen and then and, and, and cows shit everywhere <laughs> and he <laughs> was just like <laughs> in an insane that. place <laughs> wow. um like a complete mess in our per from our yeah. perception yeah. um but i reckon it's just like you know at that at, at in certain from a certain mm. state of consciousness it kind of doesn't yeah if your you inner anymore. vibe is is that strong based on your own personal practice then anything should be mm. i guess livable mm, mm. yeah fascinating you said you had a question for svenja by the way that you can't remember yeah it's <laughs> not come back what <laughs> what <laughs> like <laughs> after all this time you know <laughs> no we were in a good 10 minutes it, it, wasn't, man. it wasn't meant to it be. clearly wasn't meant svenja to be. seems scared now she's yeah, like don't yeah. ask me this question on, <laughs> on camera <laughs> i'm not scared <laughs> yeah. i can't just refuse to answer <laughs> <that>. <laughs> That would be funny. I've never seen Svenja refuse to answer a question. That must be a deep question. Mm. Yeah. Huh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Nico, I'm banking on you. Come on, <laughs> come on, divine. <coughs> <coughs> no, it's not going to come. <laughs> so you don't want to be super Nico anymore? I don't want to be. That mask is not fitted for my face. It doesn't help. I can't. I can barely see the mic. Come so. on, Kia. <laughs> what happened? Four quid. What's four quid? <laughs> four quid. <laughs> quid means pounds for those mm. of you who don't know. What 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 relation do you guys have to superheroes? In what sense, like, like who's my favorite superhero? Or? Yeah, and who's your favorite? Uh, and did they like play a, a big role for you in like growing up? And that's a good question. How do you see superheroes now? You want to go first? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll go first. Um, I feel like superheroes, it's like something that, I don't want to say everyone, but the majority of people like kind of look up to or, or brings, especially as a child, like brings hope, right? That's, that's the way I see it. And I know a lot of the superheroes that I really, really enjoy, like my favorites were Spider-Man and Iron Man. Oh, yeah, because you got the Iron Man water bottle, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> so so Spider-Man was like, Pretty cool, yeah. yeah. But then when it was Iron Man, like, I remember when I was a kid, that, that like, shifted something in my mindset to make me, like, I feel like that's what gave me a lot of work ethic, uh, as crazy oh. as it seems, because when I saw Iron Man, and I was like, actually, that's kind of realistic. Like, he hasn't got actual superpowers, but he, he like, he did something with his resources. Yeah. And then it, it, I always wanted to, like, make an Iron Man suit or something. I was like, can this be possible? So, I feel like... I must I'm sure someone I in Japan has done what it. I <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been drinking that Iron Man water bottle all this time and she doesn't know who Iron Man is. <laughs> Whoa. We're going to have to educate Svenja. <laughs> but yeah, so I feel like, like it's, it's a, it's a bit of hope and like just, Crazy. you know, uplifting. Yeah. Mm. What about you, Hassan? Um, superheroes, um, 
it depends who you look up to really um mm. even like for a child like a superhero could be his parents uh for a guardian even um and then as you grow it could even be like your teacher like a lot of people cast master as a superhero even um uh, see me coming into this environment me realizing that and it, it does show why people see that because maybe the smallest changes or the smallest way to enjoy your life or live your life in the best way possible come that person can be classed as a superhero mm-hmm. and um obviously i've enjoyed uh, watching mm, since childhood spider-man and iron man and stuff and uh most <coughs> recently i started watching uh, the marvel films and because my nephew got me into it <laughs> well, but um i think each superhero has its own story and they they tell you their own story in a way that like like you mentioned with you don't have to have superpowers to show that you just have to make that person realize and understand that this is the way to live it this is the way to do this and that person will class you as their superhero mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. so i i put it that way uh, mm-hmm. i think there's a lot of superheroes some people are not recognized as superheroes but they actually are superheroes yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in their own personal way <laughs> you guys have got some deep answers mm-hmm. man i, I don't want i should have gone first <laughs> For me, I was a big fan of Superman. Superman was, like, when I was a kid, I had the little, like, I've always wanted the Superman action figure that had the cape that would flow in the wind. And then we used to drive in the car. I'd used to put the window down and, like, watch the cape just go <laughs> in the wind. That used to excite me so much. And I always wanted a, a Superman outfit. I don't know what it was. Like, I never really kind of tried to analyze. Uh, I guess I was too young to to have that in-depth um i guess i don't want to say analysis but uh yeah i guess analysis of of why it touched me um i was big into x-men i like the whole idea of outcasts or people that were marginalized from society mm. and then coming together in in good you know mm. Mm. i guess the good against the bad um i'm trying to remember which one was my favorite I like Iceman. Iceman was really cool. Iceman was cool. Iceman was sick. Ice he Man. was the cool dude. I, I like Nightcrawler. Yeah. Oh. Teleportation was like, damn. <laughs> what, uh, what was... He had a really cool line. He was the German. He spoke German, mm-hmm. didn't he? Gehen Sie raus. Raus. Yeah, he was good. Mm. Cool guy. Mm. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Mm. Yeah, he was one of my favorites too. Imagine mm. just going... Mm. That'd be cool. What about you, Svenja? Like Jean Grey was Iceman. Cool. I also don't know <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> <So> <laughs> you can see my 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 superhero <laughs> knowledge is quite limited, I guess, <laughs> in that sense. Yeah. Um yeah, we I used to grow up without television, so mm. I guess that makes quite a big That's difference. So good. That's good. Mm. To what age? Like so as a child or Mm, we probably I don't know maybe we we had a television again when I was around 12-ish mm. possibly mm. Mm, but then still very strict watching times <laughs> oh for real <laughs> just with my grandparents I was able to watch all the Disney <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's it yeah <laughs> nice if any of you had any like superpowers if you had to choose one what would it be Svenja um, or whoever wants to go first, whoever's mm. ready to answer. That's Josh hard doesn't want to say. answer. <laughs> he knows which one. <laughs> Why is everyone pointing <laughs> to me? I'm thinking. I'm using my thinking time now. Okay. Um, no, nah, I don't know right now. Come back to me in a, in a, in a minute or so. Yeah, mm. Hassan. <laughs> Not sure really. I was Talk gonna say um, like go back in, in the past and change things around, but then you everything happens for a do reason that without superpowers you <laughs> know that <laughs> we have everything happens for a reason so even if like you feel like today like for example yesterday you made a made a mistake and you want to go back and sort it out it may happen for a reason mm. um that's what i've um we see i live by mm. so i don't th- i was gonna say that but i don't think that would something mm-hmm. i probably would say that um maybe have a look in the future <laughs> yeah. to see what's 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 uh what's gonna happen but um don't you think that would kind of ruin the idea of life, though? Yeah, because like this, there's a saying. Um, it's like uh, we, if I can get this saying right, I always get muddled up with the words because it's a, it's a really good saying. 
say the saying says like uh, we make ourselves really old and really stressed out by reminding ourselves of the past and we we destroy our future by thinking of the future mm. right now mm. so we should live the moment as it is uh, we shouldn't think too much of what's happened in the past and we shouldn't think too much what's going to happen in the future we should live our yeah. way that the life is going as it is and take us everything a step at a time yeah there's this saying that like if you feel depressed then you're living in the past and if if you have anxiety you're living in the future yeah yeah mm. so it's some uh, sometimes i would have said that yeah i want to um, have a look oh, in the future uh, and see uh what my life is going to go what's g- what's going to shape up but yeah. uh i think with th- with that saying obviously i read up on that saying and i seen i was like mm, i'll just live in the present moment mm. and see how everything plays out and sometimes you have surprises for the future. Mm. But yeah. I think actually to be in the present moment is quite a superhero quality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try yeah, quite try depressed. yeah, try <laughs> being try. in the present. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> After 10 seconds. Yeah. Um, before we go around and and like ask your like you guys tell us about your superpowers. Any one of you watching this, just let us know in the comment uh, in the comment box who is your superhero, why? And if you had, if you were to choose one superpower, and I know it's tough, I'm sorry, guys, <laughs> but let us know because it's it's super interesting, and then maybe Master can do a video about that in the future. Team, favorite superpower? Mm, beaming would be pretty cool. Like beaming. I don't know. Have you ever watched Charmed or so, where they can just uh, <laughs> <laughs> get the things? Oh, you mean like place. telekinesis? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My brother was or a big fan of Charmed. With like the sign that was like the. I think I was more in the two magician things rather than superhero. Mm, mm-hmm. Magic, yeah. I want. Have you wanna ever had dreams of like? I've had a lot of these dreams magician. where you can move stuff with your hands or with your thought <laughs> with your hands. That's a big one. Whoa, <laughs> wow. I found mine. <laughs> Got it. Wow. <laughs> Kangen water. <laughs> mm. Yeah, like I've had dreams where I'm like looking at water and just thinking about it and it moves or like closing windows and closing doors and it feels really familiar. Have any of you guys ever had that? I had had that superpower. Like, yeah, no, to dream of of like telekinesis and it feels normal. Mm. You know, like usually when you dream of flying, it's like, oh shit, I can fly. Mm. Whereas this for me, it was like, why don't I have that in real life? Mm -hmm. It feels so normal, Mm. you know? Not that I can remember, but I can I can see that happen because you know in dream like everything feels just like what like this is this is it right? Yeah. yeah. It's only when you come back here then yeah. it's like oh yeah. Why can't yeah. I have this? Yeah, yeah. You were here when we we did that exercise with Master to move the the pendulum uh, yeah, without yeah, yeah. touching. That yeah. was pretty cool. Yeah, with our minds. That was fun. Apparently, you can train yourself to move stuff through the power of the mind. Mm. We did it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we actually did it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I want to see it. Mm. I want to do it. <laughs> no, because like I won't believe it till I see it. Yeah, yeah. No, I believe we you. Actually, I we just actually, when we go. came home, like Angela, me and George, we had like a class. We were like, let's do it again. <laughs> but actually, I was eating my dinner it. on the on the counter, and these two were on the table <laughs> over there playing with pendulums and looking just into space trying to move it. I took a picture, sent it to Mass. I was like, what have you done to these guys? <laughs> but that was pretty cool. So mm. superpowers. So yours is telekinesis. Mm. Yours is looking into the past or the future. Mm. Actually, you don't need to be a superhero for that. That is possible. Just do mm. yoga. <laughs> <laughs> all, it's the true. all of these things is possible. It's all reality. Yeah, to be honest. Yes, true. Mm. Yours? Mine. I was kind of thinking. Kind of thinking. Kind of thinking. Kind of thinking. <laughs> and it went, o- it went all right. You know, yeah. you know, pretty good. Yeah. Good. Um, <laughs> my thing, because each superpower that you have, like I'm thinking it's like, in every moment, you'd want something else, right? Yeah. Not, you know, like, one day you might be flying. Like, if I'm, I don't know, I need to get to work quickly, I might need to fly. Surely you just teleport, right? Yeah, another day I might be t- so late that I need to teleport. So, <laughs> so you know, it changes by the, by the, by the activity. The circumstance, yeah. So, I'm thinking yeah. it would be the ability to choose any superpower that I want in that moment. Oh, <laughs> that's the joke. He's trumped <laughs> us out, man. That's okay. my superpower. This guy's smart. <laughs> and you? I think... Oh, now you've given me that option. I'm going <laughs> to go for that. But if I was to play by the rules, if I had one to choose. Hmm. Oh, that's a tough one, man. I think 
teleportation would be pretty sick mm. because you wouldn't be limited to space mm. or time, therefore, mm. because space and time are one. That'd mm. be fascinating. Can you imagine that? Just go to the pyramids, <laughs> go to go to Stonehenge, go <laughs> to s- outer space yeah. with, a, space. with a space suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go to the yeah. Otherwise, you'd, you'd yeah. die. So that's why you should have my superpower. Then you can go <laughs> to space and then have the ability <laughs> to not need air. <laughs> oh man, this guy he's thought about everything. You go to the inner Earth. Inner Earth. Mm-hmm. That'd be nice. Mm. Do you reckon, does anyone know about Inner Earth? Oh, Not guys. that again. <laughs> 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 I think I have to leave now, otherwise <laughs> <laughs> I'm a reptile again. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Svenja, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine <laughs> the controversy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's not. Inner Earth Theory, guys, there's a documentary on YouTube. Watch it. It's awesome. I'm not going to tell you much more about it because I could talk for hours. But Maybe next creator show you could talk next about. Next creator show mm. about the Inner Earth. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've inner Earth special. I've Look out for it. Yeah. I've. I've <laughs> In a dream, I've met one of the the leaders of mm. the inner earth. Yeah, mm. that's fascinating. Have you heard of the inner earth theory? He probably thinks, fuck are these <laughs> <guys>? Stop drinking <laughs> Kangen water. <laughs> Not really, no. Uh, we'll talk about it. Yeah. It's mm. fascinating. <coughs> yeah. Cool. I think on that note, that was interesting. Mm. That was nice. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank really you. cool. Mm. Um, guys, if you got any value whatsoever from this, then please do give this a like and hit the uh, subscribe button and the noti- notifications button. That's the little bell sign right here, by the way. Um, and do let us know where you're tuning in from. That's super, super nice to know. And we're going to say ciao for now. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.